there guys, how you doing? And welcome to this video to Plastic Free Solutions. My name is Dan Ashendorf and today we're gonna to be looking at ways of reducing plastic pollution. Now plastic pollution is a massive problem. We've all seen uh, pictures, we've seen uh, Blue Planet with all the animals getting strangled on straws and all that sort of thing. So we know it's a problem, but let's just bring it to life with some numbers. So it's estimated that 260 million tons of plastic are being produced every single year. That's 260 million tons every single year. And it's estimated that 10% of that ends up in the ocean. So some of it is being recycled, some of it is being incinerated, but 10% of that, that's 26 million tons of plastic, ends up in the oceans, which is clearly unsustainable. Um, it's also estimated that 100 million uh, marine animals die every single year, they get strangled, they eat the stuff, they eat microbeads, and also it ends up in, on our plates as well because we eat the fish. So that's a problem, not just for the animals, but also for ourselves, for the environment, and so on. So guys, how do we reduce plastic? And during the course of these videos, I'm gonna be teaching you, or I'm gonna be showing you rather, a, a tip or a hack or something like that, um, where we can actually, together, we can reduce plastic pollution substantially so we can really go out and make a difference. And today I'm gonna to show you something really, really cool and it's all to do with plastic cups from some of your favorite um, latte purveyors, such as Starbucks. It's not just Starbucks, of course. There's Costa and there's loads and loads of these uh, coffee shops and it's clearly delicious what it is that they serve us. But let's talk about the cup problem for a moment. So. I'm based in the UK and it's estimated there is 7 million of these right every day discarded. So 7 million of these discarded every single day. Now in theory they can be recycled but in practice they don't get recycled and the reason for that is because they're made up of polyethylene. Now in the middle right, what you have is you've got paper, you've got polyethylene, you've got all sorts of different things in it which don't allow the cup to be recycled which is the problem and that ends up in the ocean and all sorts of places where it just can, cannot be recycled so that's just really adding to the problem also you got these uh, lids right which are pretty much 100% plastic and again that's an issue in, in as much as they're not being recycled so what can we do to help and really I think the only thing that we can do is not to be in a position where we have to recycle these cups and what I've got here is a Starbucks um, reusable cup and it cost me a pound, I think it costs a dollar in the US and it's just a question of using it again and again and again so pretty much forever without having to recycle it. It's nice, it opens nice and I just bring it to, I mean I, I love Starbucks and Costa and all of these ones, I love the latte in there and I just bring it with me every time I have a drink. And that just, you know, just imagine that if we were all to do that, that would save us 7 million of these being discarded in the UK alone. I have no idea what that number would be in, in Europe or the US. It would be a huge multiple of that number. So just imagine if we stopped throwing all of these cups into the ocean or not being able to recycle them. It would have a massive effect on the environment, on marine life and our health as well. So guys, hopefully you found this informative and I look forward to speaking to you at the next one. I've got loads of really, really good hacks and tips to make the environment safer and better for all of us. My name is Dan Ashendorf. I work for Plastic Free Solutions and I look forward to speaking to you at the next one. All the best. Bye bye.